All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, today we're going to continue with the weapon chat, but... Yeah. Okay, so let's find Soft A, Liam Kelly, Dreamer Designs. 120 centimeters by 40 centimeters, 47.2 inches by 15.7 inches. All right. Uh, 52 colors and two ABs. All right. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm going to show you where the ABs are in this canvas, because I did not show where the ABs are in the unboxing, so. All right, so Z or Z and 51 and 52 are the A, B's. Uh, the Z or Z is a uh, green. A green A, B. And then the A, B, O, 8 is a white. So already in this bottom left-hand corner that I have started on, yeah, there's just pops of the A, B in the bushes. Okay, yep, and yeah, pops of white in the ground here. All right, it's gonna be moving around a bit. Yep, just spread out. I believe this is like a bridge or something, or is it a miniature falls? Nope, it's a uh, miniature falls. Okay, it's not a bridge. Okay, that's a waterfall. Right there. Okay. Alright, so the white's representative of like the sparkling part of water as well as reflection of light post rainfall. Yeah, because this picture is a. Uh, after rainfall, representative of after a rainfall. So there's probably slight light in the sky after the clouds have cleared. So this, this is the, this is some foliage by, or trees by the house in the center. We're about the center of the canvas now. All right, yeah, just spread out is and the far side of the canvas so, okay we're on the left hand side okay there's some ABs in that light that that lantern part that's just some ABs there on the bottom along the bottom the grass okay all right, and this part of the sky has tons of ABs in it. That's like a good color block of ABs. Okay, so gives you a general idea. Sorry, I didn't show that during the unboxing. Boil this up a bit. I'll just reclip it after. Okay, yeah. Just in case anybody was wondering about the A B situation. Yeah, I'll reclip it afterwards. Okay, so there you go. Alright, so welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day. Yeah, I just wanted to get that all the way. I was thinking about <laughs> thought about that. Like Oh, there are A, B's in here, and I us people usually show where they go. <laughs> uh, how to cover mine, dude. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> Probably it. Here, I'll get resituated here. No big deal. I'm glad I showed where those go. General. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a really blinged out sky. I never realized that. <laughs> I just kind of showed the canvas very briefly in the colors. And I saw that there were A, Bs at the bottom there. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I had to kind of delete the footage I had before because my camera turned on me. So, yeah, just kind of... Oh, excuse me, you redid that. No big deal. All good. All right. Yeah, let's get reoriented here. Okay, 934. There we go. <laughs> For the size of this canvas, I've had to be a little creative. Where to set stuff. <laughs> But yeah, it's not the end of the world. All right. All right, so just this like brown. Just filling this in. Pretty good section. Basically the N uh, symbol is the only symbol that's kind of faded on the canvas. Other than that, the other ones are fairly distinguishable. Yeah, I did mention that on the previous whip and chat, but yeah. Oh well, <laughs> I'm good with it. Yeah. All right. Oh. It'll be an awesome canvas here, regardless. No matter what. Alright, yeah, so just... Little pop of ABs here and there. Yeah, we're just in like the bottom right hand corner and already there's vibrant colors in this. So that's awesome. And I guess there's like a transition from like dark to light the further left you go on here. Yeah, this is probably like the darkest half of the canvas. And then we'll slowly transition over to the lighter part of the canvas. So there'll probably be a few dark colors for a bit. Yeah, because this first column is really dark. <laughs> it's really dark colors, but yeah, we'll get really nice pops of light colors. as we go through the canvas for sure. So this will be awesome. This will be a canvas that I'll be on for a bit, but I'm glad to finally hop onto it. I loved Frosty Forest Friend that did before. <laughs> oh, all good. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of get antsy and want to get to other canvases after a while. But yeah, uh, this is a fairly long haul kind of project, but I'm in for it. <laughs> They're nice relaxing canvases and 
and there are ones that are a bit more involved. I like either one, <laughs> either style, but I do like a pop of color every once in a while. And to kind of shift the tone of what I'm working on. <laughs> yeah, there are some projects that don't have much color, but they convey the character and the mood or overall tone of the piece. Yeah, you only just need a couple, a few colors sometimes in a piece to convey the overall tone. Yeah, Night Horse by Polina Bivsheva from Treasure Studios Art was an example of a few colors, but it was a very somber, kind of muted piece, but it made quite a powerful statement. It's kind of a character depiction or a portrait of, I need to say Roman soldier, but just said knight, and then with his horse, so night horse. But yeah, that was a pretty somber piece, but powerful within itself. So I and I loved working on that. <laughs> and that was my probably first Treasure Studios art canvas that I purchased a while ago. And as I said before, this is my first Dreamer Designs canvas I've worked on. This isn't the first one. No, oh, maybe it's the first one I bought. Not sure. But I do have a couple others, so. <laughs> so yeah, all good. Just, uh... Basically relaxing on my day off here. I have tomorrow off as well, but yeah, just want to get the YouTube recording on the radar, on the top of the radar. Tweezers back. <laughs> Tweezers and scissors back. Uh, as usual, there's I thought I saw a hair on the canvas already. No, oh, there it is. Okay. Not sure if that's from the canvas itself. I'm not sure if there's like a stray strings on this or not. <laughs> The edges are uh, stitched together, or scalloped, I guess. To prevent fraying, but I'm wondering if it's like the... strings from this edge here that... Uh, It is kind of fraying a bit, like just on the scalloped edge. Yeah, it's probably where that string from before came from. Move up a bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, all good. Yeah, I just want to pick too much of that uh, string there that was stuck to the adhesive before. So afraid I was scratching the <laughs> didn't scratch where that symbol was. 
there's still a sticky spot there where I pulled the string off. But... Yikes. <laughs> what not to do to the adhesive on a canvas. Yeah, I highly recommend having a pair of tweezers around just in case you do have like a cat or a dog or something with hair or if you're you get strands of hair falling out or need to correct a drill yeah just have a pair of tweezers around you can either get them out of pharmacy or if you have uh, Diamond painting kits that came with tweezers, you're set to go. Probably the sharper points tweezers would work to pick up uh, drills stuck on adhesive or bits of hair. I guess the finer the point, the better, but I'm sure there are different tips of tweezers that, uh, you'd be more comfortable with, but yeah, just a pair of tweezers in general. I just like the fine point tweezers to make sure I get easily pick up stuff <laughs> off of the adhesive, because guaranteed, yeah, there's going to be hair falling into the adhesive here. Whether it's uh, my hair or the cat's hair. That's normal when you have like your canvas opened up while you're working on it. <laughs> like it's bound to get stuff on it. I'm in the studio where my cat is not. Axel's not allowed out of here. But uh, yeah. I pick him up or petting him or whatever yeah he'll guarantee shed and I'll have hairs transferring from my clothing onto the canvas yeah <laughs> so when you think you have all the cat hair off there's always a strand or two hanging out and usually it falls onto something sticky or attracts to different surfaces. Oh, well. What can you do when you have a cat? <laughs> or a dog. An animal that sheds. So, it's all good. Not the cat's fault. <laughs> cat's just doing his thing. <laughs> cat's just existing. <laughs> I don't think our robotic vacuum <laughs> thinks the same, but I think our robotic vacuum would uh, have s other thoughts. <laughs> Ew, hair. <laughs> How dare. I will go on strike. <laughs> One day when nobody's looking, I hear the front door slam because the robotic vacuum left. No more cat hair riot. <laughs> oh, hey, Dad, your uh, vacuum left today. Um, yes, rage quit. <laughs> left a very nasty uh, voicemail on the phone before I left. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that would be like, uh, what? <laughs> Are you okay, son? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> sure, PG. It's a normal day. 
couple of these drills are a little concave. Nick. Don't think they'll be touching the adhesive anytime soon. Yeah, that's okay. World saved. Alright. Do do do. Alright. Maybe I'll get this section done today. I don't know. I'm in no particular rush, but glad I started the other day. Yeah, the Dreamer designs bags. Uh, the drills come in heat sealed weight measured bags. That's a guess. But they're heat sealed, and yeah, I had to get up. <laughs> but I don't mind. I did inventory as well as kit up. That's not a video. I kit it up off camera. I'm not sure. Do people like kitting up? Uh, whipping chats? If so, let me know in the comments and then in the future I can do uh, kit up uh, whipping chat. No, I have to kit up anyway. If if a canvas like that comes along again, that I have to kit up most definitely. Like a, uh, a diameter club or another Dreamer designs, I would have to kit up. So yeah, just let me know if uh, how you feel about kitting up whipping chats for future canvases. Yeah, it's still spending time with uh, the community and fellow subscribers, so still spending time with you and that's uh, why I do these whipping chats. Yeah, it's still diamond painting technically, it's a process of diamond painting. So I'm not against it. Yeah, but just feel free to let me know down in the comments. So. Yeah, I'll always do detailed unboxings, as I always do, to introduce another canvas. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to change that anytime soon. Yeah, and I just don't do unboxings just for like <laughs> every canvas I have until I'm like uh, physically going to work on it. Yeah, I just unbox the canvas that I'm going to work on. Uh, just like doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier in my opinion, but yeah, it, it's nice to see unboxings like I'm not going to not watch an unboxing just because somebody wants to show off a canvas or show a preview of one. No, that's part of the hobby. <laughs> Purchasing uh, kits, or it could be like a, another hobby within itself, purchasing and collecting kits for diamond painting. But uh, we'll just say it's like part of the hobby, for sure. Because you have to buy a kit in order to do the hobby, so. Man, as I say, I doesn't necessarily have to be like a Dreamer Designs or Treasure Studios Art, Diamond Art Club, etc. It, it's what's within your price range and there's absolutely nothing wrong with working on a canvas that's in your price category. Like, you're still diamond painting, so yeah, no judgment there. I prefer if people were working on license art, but sometimes, yeah, it's not easy for everybody. So, yeah, I do understand that, but yeah. <laughs> I would just like to work on license 
uh, canvases on Echoes of Color here. That's what I prefer, but yeah, I do realize everybody has different uh, viewpoints about that, but yeah, no worries. No judgment here. I'd say you're still diamond painting. Dan, maybe it, it, you seen an image that was caught your interest and yeah, it's something to diamond paint, so it's the hobby, so. No worries here. Yeah, it's just nice to have like a canvas to work on. <laughs> like if I didn't have so many around, yeah, I think I'd get withdrawal pretty quick. Diamond painting withdrawal really quick. Because kidding down seems to go or is equal in time to kidding up, kind of, I don't know, depends on what you do for kidding up or kidding down. I do the baggy method to keep my extra drills, uh, just label what kit they came from and write the DMC numbers on the, on the bags, on the baggies and uh, pour the drills in. Uh, keep the sticker sheet. Yeah, I kind of just write a short form of where the kit, what the kit was, the colors from the kit. Yeah, that's how I do it, the baggy method. And then I have a couple boxes that I just store all the extra drills in. Yep. Here, regardless of the brand of painting. I, I think I wrote... DAC on the outside of the baggies as well for the Frosty Forest round extras. But yeah. Okay, how are we doing for time? 27? Right. These half hours go by quick, but uh, all good. 9, 3, 4, right? Yeah, I forgot to bring the <laughs> container back over. Alright, nice. Okay, just making sure. Got it all. Whoops. Let's knock the tray over. Yeah, I'm just working with uh, Dreamer Designs uh, tray. This is one of them. You get two trays in the kits and two applicator pens. But yeah, just using the. They're a nice tray. <laughs> They're a branded tray. Okay, it's all good. It's very nice. And yeah, it really know how to brand their product. That's really good. It's, you know it's a Dreamer Designs canvas right off the get-go. So, not a bad thing. It's really nice, actually. <laughs> okay, uh, 8.23 is our next. I'm glad I still have this elongated sticker sheet. It's, I think it's a sticker. I won't rack this in any way. Even though I blatantly have like a guide legend right here. I just, I just keep looking at this even though I have a huge legend on the side. I'm weird. <laughs> But yeah, uh, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. That uh, half hour went by really quick. Uh, down below in the description, below the video here, uh, I'll put my Facebook profile name, my Facebook business page, Echoes of Color, and my Instagram handle at, yeah, 
all three, I just try to update the same information to all three outlets. Yeah, so if I finish this section, for example, I'll just post a picture and then what it is usually. Hey, finish the section. Okay, time to start another one. That, yeah, that kind of stuff. I don't update all the time. Yeah, but other than that, uh, take care. Have a great day and uh, all the best with your crafting endeavors and uh, see you next time. Bye.